My name is William Justice, and this channel is about learning filmmaking. In my short film Tripwire, I used a DaVinci Resolve fusion effect to create the yellow eyes in the character. This effect is easy to set up, and I wanted to take a little time to show you how to do it. I haven't created any tutorials before, so this one has a few problems. I'm kind of learning as I go here. Um, I think it'll be good enough to kind of show you how to set up the effect and how I created it. Um, we'll definitely get these fixed up in the future as I plan on creating a lot more tutorials, a lot more films. Um, try to do some really interesting stuff on this channel. Thanks for watching. Okay, I've added the clip to the timeline. Um, I looked at uh, a few different ways to do this. I looked at using fusion with an animated mask and also uh, experimented with going into the uh, color area. Both of those work, but I was kind of interested in learning a little bit more about uh, tracking and corner pinning, so I decided to try that. It seemed like it worked pretty well. So the first step here is to right click on the clip and choose new fusion clip. Then with the clip selected, click fusion on the bottom to get the clip into fusion so we can start uh, adding our effects. First thing we want to do is we're going to want to track the eye, mo eye movement. So we're going to start with the left eye. So it's right in there. You can see it coming up and we're going to track it through um, all the way to the end. Bring up the, uh, the tools by hitting control space and look for the planar tracker. I'm going to add that. So that gets added in. Next, we want to find the frame where we want to start tracking. And I think the best place, place is right where you start to see the eye, right in there. So we'll start with the left eye. We're going to set the planar tracker to point hybrid and choose um, translation, rotation, and scale. Then we're going to draw by clicking on here our points around that we want around the eye that we want to track. Click the set um, button in, over in the track panel to say that that's where we're going to start tracking and choose track forward. Okay, there we go. So we got we got a pretty good track. The occasion when I was doing this um, originally, I had to try a few different times to get it to work exactly the way I wanted. Um, the next step is to set the operation mode to corner pin. And that's going to give us these uh, the corner pins where we're going to set them to go right around where the eye is so that we can put a, um, a color right on top of that. And we're going to use the background node to do that. So that's close enough there to get us started. And I'm at the very last frame when I set that up. Do that again. Let's just take the background node like that. I'm going to take the background. We'll hit uh, one on the background so we can see it over on the left-hand side. That's what our background looks like. And then we're going to take the output of the background and drop it right into the planar tracker. And you can see that we have the background is pinned to the to the eye. So we're going to take let's take our background and adjust the color. We'll uh, make it a yellow, kind of like the uh, the sample that I had. And then we're going to go to the uh, planar tracker going to open up this corner pin option and we're going to set set it to overlay. What that's going to do is it's going to let us kind of see the eye through that background, blending it in. We're going to use a uh, mask on top of the background, a spline here, and all we need to do is just roughly draw the shape of an eye for starters. It's kind of an oval round shape and close that off. It's pretty close. We have a, an eye on there and we'll uh, Play that through. Let me zoom out a little bit. You can see we got the uh, the background with the mask tracking onto the eye. So you notice that the when we go to the very first frame, it's still there. So what we can do is set the opacity on it and start it like right there. Let me go back a frame or two, like right before we can see the eye, and go to the planar tracker, and we'll set the uh, the gain here. It's a good way to do it back one frame and set it to zero. So I added a keyframe in for the the gain so that it comes on right when he opens the, right when he opens his eye there. Okay, the next step is we want to kind of try to get it a little closer in shape to fitting where we want. So there's a couple ways to do this. The first thing you can do is get the uh, the spline guy here and adjust it out a little bit.
go back to the tracker and we're going to keyframe the corner pins by hitting the keyframe keys here, the keyframe uh, diamonds. And then we go, let's see, yeah, right there. So let's adjust these corner pins to kind of get it to fit. We want it to be just inside of the eyelid. We're gonna add some uh, some softness and feathering on that. It'll, it'll blend in a little bit better once we got it finished. Um, next, all I did was just go back a few frames and just keep adjusting this just so it's just inside there. All you gotta do is move any one of these four corners. Go back again. That looks pretty close. And so you only have to do this like a few times and you get it pretty close. Go back a few more. The high is closing up a little bit more, so I think this one kind of needs to come up. And back to the beginning. One frame in, yeah, this one needs to be just a little bit more. And there we got it. So let's uh, let's play that back and see how we're doing here. Add in the second eye. So to do that, we're going to add need to add another planar tracker. We'll select this one and hit Control Space Bar. Find the planar tracker and insert that. Okay, hybrid point area, translation, rotation, scale, and we'll just go around this area here. Around the eye roughly, close that. Set our start point and track forward. Okay, that looks pretty good. The next thing we can do, we want to do is go make sure the uh, second tracker is selected. And let's say we're going to do the uh, corner pin on this one as well. So same thing we did on the other eye, let's move the, the corners up to right around the eye. Get that rough, make sure we're on the last frame there. Kind of get that in there roughly. It does, you don't have to be too exact with this. And then, then what we want to do is take the output of the background that we did before and drop it in this one. And you can see the takes the eye. So we got the background going into both of the trackers. So we can kind of reuse this the same setup. We're going to add a little bit more to it in a bit. We'll set the, the blend mode to overlay. And you can see it's kind of already in there. So let's do what we did before in the other eye. We're going to zoom in, um, enable keyframes on the tracker uh, corner pin positions, and let's get our first one set up here. I'm going to adjust it so it's just inside the eye. That's that. Um, same thing as where we're going to go back a few frames and make some adjustments as needed. too bad. We, we can spend a little more time with it and get it more exact, but I think you get the idea here. Under the tracker and the gain, we're going to set a keyframe on that. Go back one frame and set the gain to zero. Let's see what we got here. So we can do some things to kind of clean this up a little bit. If we go into our, um, our spline, which is the mask on the background, we can add a little softness in and that'll help it blend in to the eye a little better. So now this is set up, we, we kind of have some options. We can actually try to try out some different colors, got some green eyes, um, blue eyes. Yellow tended to work fairly well because it's kind of close to the skin color and you didn't have to be as exact because um, you're not gonna see where it overlaps as much. So let's make a little more, a little more orange in there. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, now I, I tried another effect that was actually fairly interesting where um, to kind of put a little animation inside the eye. We're going to disconnect this background here, add in a merge node, put the background into the merge, and out of the merge we're going to go into back into the tracker. So we can see we have our uh, have our eyes set up again. So into the into the merge we're going to add a um, hit control space and we're going to do the uh, plasma. There's quite, actually quite a few different things you can do here. And we'll drop the plasma and merge it in with the eyes. 
and then we'll take the the same mask that we did on the background and we're going to mask out the plasma with that so that we get the that onto our eyes now there's really a ton of effects you can do here obviously the first thing we want to do is it's it's way too strong um, so we're going to go to the merge let's see are we going to take down the blending so it's a little, a little more subtle so you can see we got the little subtle look inside the eyes there now for plasma there's a lot of different operations um, you, this will give you different kinds of looks inside there. So we'll try this this divide look and bring it up, bring up the blending just a little bit more so we can see it. And to animate it to kind of give it a uh, interesting look, we go into the plasma. We'll just we can just there's a lot of different options, but let's try the size. Um, so we will go to the last frame here, bump up the size a little bit. That's good. And then go to the kind of midway through here. And we keyframe the size, so we'll kind of take the size down. And then when we play it, you'll see that the plasma kind of animates through the eyes as we're zooming in. Okay, so that, that's how I set it up. Use Fusion DaVinci Resolve. It worked great. I think it came out really well. Um, I was pleased with it. Um, I'm planning on doing a lot more. Subscribe to the channel. Would love to hear your feedback. Let me know what you think. If there's other ways to do it or ways that you could do it better, I'd, I'd be glad to hear it. Um, should have a new video coming soon. I'm going to try to create some challenges where I uh, try to give myself some interesting things to do so I can learn filmmaking. Thanks for watching.